Hello all. So, in the last session we have seen how do we apply k-means clustering on a given data set, right. So, today in the session I would like to talk about how do we apply PCA on a given data set, principal component analysis for dimensionality reduction on a given data set, ok. So, apply PCA to reduce the dimensionality of a data set, ok. So, as we have seen principal component analysis is a dimensionality reduction technique which we usually use for supervised, unsupervised machine learning algorithm and we use this because when you have a data set with more number of features, ok. The more number of features if you take the computational cost would be more. So, I want to reduce the features of less importance such that I can improve the accuracy without changing the information in the input, uh, inf input information in the data set, ok. So, this is simply used for uh, you know retaining as much information as we want that is the variance by finding the new axis that is the principal components along which the data varies the most, ok. So, basically with respect to dimensionality reduction we can simplify large data set to reduce computational cost and noise and we use visualization because uh, to reduce to 2D or 3D for easier visualization, feature extraction that is identify key patterns and features in the data, ok. So, these are the steps that we have discussed when we have studied the theoretical part of uh, principal component analysis, we divide that into 5 steps. First is we perform standardization such that all the features will have, all the features with different ranges of values will have equal importance when you do standardization and then we will find the covariance of the matrix and for that we apply eigenvalues and eigenvectors, one for row and one for dimension ok. So, uh, that is called Eigen decomposition and then we will sort the required PCA components that is the PCA components which are actually required for implementing and then we will try to project the data and make the required changes ok. So, step 1 here would be importing the required libraries ok. So, we import Panda from pre-processing we implement standard scalar and PCA principal component analysis is available in SQL or decomposition and importing matplotlib for visualization ok. So, this is the data set that I want to work on. So, based on the R studied attendance extracurricular activities and grade I want to divide it into clusters. I want to reduce the uh, you know I want to check if on what parameters uh, is my grade not that dependent. For example, directly we can see extracurricular activities may not have uh, much impact on the parameters, uh, on the grade, right. So, we will see the covariance relation between different features and we will see what feature can be reduced uh, for easy processing, ok. So, similar to like uh, last experiment, I have created a key value pair because key, sta key, with key will be the uh, feature name and the values would be nothing but the uh, rows values, ok. So, I am trying to create a data frame of this particular data set with student ID, R studied, attendance and then extracurricular activities and grade I am creating a data set and after that I will perform standardization. As we know standardization will scale the data to have mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1 such that all the features contribute equally to the PCA calculation. Once I am done with standardization I will go for PCA transformation that is uh, once uh, I see I am dropping the student ID because I do not think that is of much importance ok, I am removing that in the data set ok. So, I, I do not want to take student ID, I want to consider R studied attendance, extracurricular activities and grade ok. So, I will standardize the features and apply PCA to two, two dimensions, you have to choose the number of principal components you want to generate, here I want to generate two principal components and I want to fit that into the uh, scaled features, ok. Once I am done with that I will go for PCA transformation that is you have to create a new data frame with the new principal components, ok. So, PD dot data frame and for this I am choosing this principal components. Here data would be the principal component PCA fitted data where I want to generate two PCA components PC1 and PC2. Okay. Now, for that I would add the student ID as reference because I want I have number of columns from 0 to 9 and then I want to print this. So, once you see this you can have this PCA1 and PCA2 that is the feature map getting calculated with the PCA components ok. Now, once we are done with that we will go for visualization. Here we have to plot the two principal components in the scatter plot and annotate each point with the corresponding student ID ok. So, I am taking a figure of size 8 by 6, I am I want to plot PC1 and PC2 with blue mark and other markers ok. So, I want to annotate each point with the student ID that is I want to enumerate the contents in the student ID and I want to elaborate it to PC1 and PC2. Okay, I want on the X label I want to plot PC1 and Y label I want to plot PC2 and I want the title to be 2D PC of performance of data ok. So, once you see this you will be getting this particular graph of PCA on the left uh, on the X axis PC2 on the Y axis with you know 
the number of points or the grades that the student ID getting divided on PC1 and PC2. Okay. So, once we are done with that we have to exp we have to calculate the variance ratio. This variance ratio will actually indicate the proportion of the data sets variance explained by each principal component that is the dependency of each component contributing to the uh, output prediction. So, as we can see we have uh, a variance ratio to be 95 percentage that means all the input features will actually contribute equally to the uh, prediction of the grade uh, for prediction ok. So, hence when you have this good variance ratio it means that all the features are of equal importance on prediction hence we cannot reduce any of them ok. This is simple data set that I have taken but in real when you have uh, when you are working on a real time data set with 100 different input features or based on which you have to calculate some output then PCA would be actually useful ok. So, this is all about how do we apply PCA onto a given data set for dimensionality reduction. Thank you.